up guys? It's me, Vidot Apps. Oh, whoa, 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 what's going on here? It's me, Vidot Apps, and here we have a friend today, Revengeance3001. Hello, Revengeance. Please introduce Hello. yourself. Hello, how you doing, people? I am Revengeance. I am a channel in YouTube. Oh, no, duh. <laughs> no, duh. Oh, activity monitor. I will be tracking my activity in case performance gets too high. But today we'll just be creating a fun app. Basically, what it does. What is kind of fun app? Basically, it'll, it'll fun show apps. an image of the Apple logo and pretend that the phone has crashed. Ooh, so we're gonna go to our websites, which will be linked. Our our website will be linked in the description below. And yes, we have changed it, so that will be in another video. And also, no, I'm not gonna make that one. It is, if you're subscribed, you will get that video. But then, all you so when you're at home, you go to home news videos need help. Oh, need help is also a new feature. We will talk about that later. And you need to go to the images tab. Now there's two images. I'm gonna use this one, and I'm gonna right click or control pick, and I'm gonna save it to the desktop. Why not? Okay, done with Safari, and here's our image. Let's launch Xcode. Remember the launchpad or Spotlight Search. I will link Wasim's or Vengeance's channel in the description below. So let's start with a new yeah. project. Let's make sure, and it's a single view application. We won't be doing any coding, so call it to make a math app to make it even more tight prank app. Math app, mm. and so I'll save it in the documents. So whatever. is this so? So is this like a real? Digit it's not gonna crash your phone. It's app? just gonna display the see, image here. Plus, fun shortcut if you select an image and hit space, it'll show a preview. Or force click it, either one. See? Yep. Yeah. Anyways, so we're not doing any coding. So we just jump over to the main.storyboard file. I'm just gonna change this to an iPhone 5. I don't know why, I just, it just makes it easier, I guess. I think this image is fit for the iPhone 5. I haven't tested it with any other iPhones, but. So I'll change this. Um, the main.storyboard file by clicking on this and or the arrow thingy on the side. The arrow thingy? Yeah, the arrow thingy. And go to 4 inch. So descriptive. So descriptive, yeah. So right here where all your things are. But uh, object library. We need Mr. Image, image, search image and why are you ignoring me, bro? So this in this video we will be adding constraints. Oh, so just okay. drag it. Oh, yeah, I'm not ignoring you, Revengeance. Click okay. On this little I need to ask you a question. This square thing with the two things on its side, like a rover or something. Yes. I need to ask you a yes. question. Yes. Yes. Okay. And select all four constraints. So there. is this app like the J? Can you actually download it in like the App Store? Well, you have to upload it to the App Store first. This is not running on the App Store. And that's $99 a year for those who are wondering. <laughs> and so now we need to drag in our image. Just drag it in. And remember, copy items if needed and finish. Done. So now, select the image view, go to the triangle thingy. Go to image and type whatever the image was. Oh, it was one, seven, one, four, hundred, one, four, hundred. There you go. Oh. <laughs> so that displayed a big what? question mark, so I guess we have to take the whole thing then. Oh, that was... oh, there it is. See? And so, I don't know what, it normally will show up here. I don't know why I did it, but it's, you have to type the whole thing, I guess. Sorry about that. But you can always do this. Rename this image, like, A. Or something. Right, so, so, we selected the image, go to view, 
let's try as aspect fit uh, I like aspect fit so now remember the constraints were top left bottom and I mean top right bottom and left and nothing else so now that's it and let's run it oh and in case your simulator is too big or you don't want it that big just go to simulator hardware uh, I mean simulator oh, on the top bar go to window scale and 50% looks just fine so revenge it does Revengeance. I will be I doing activity said. monitor, and that's basically if you've ever used Windows, that's like task manager. Shows you how much memory is being used, and etc. etc. And that's the simulator still loading. Ah. I'm gonna minimize <laughs> this video. So do check out Revengeance. Oh, and. And Did it work? It's loading. Crash. Oh no! Our phone is crashing. In real real life, it's not. If we go home, it says Math App, so we select it. And oh no! Crash our phone. No. And oh, one more thing you may want to do is with Xcode seven and higher, go to launch screen dot storyboard. You want to add the app logo here also because when they launch the app for the first time, it'll show a blank white screen. I know in previous version of Xcode, they actually would write something in. White blank screen. Anyways, I'll leave that up to you. So there's a. Oh no, it's not responding. I think I'm on Force Quit Xcode. No, That's I'm on a trip. Force Quit. Okay, please don't. So four squid will just right yeah four squid. So that was the end of this video, and it seems like the phone is crashing, doesn't it? But home, oh. or you can also do this, like lock it. You know when they unlock their phone, it's like ah. But anyway. Lock it. Put it in the pocket. <laughs> Please revenge us. <laughs> and by the way, we're on a Skype call, so if it if it gets bad, please um, it's Skype. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you had fun enjoying this video. Do subscribe. <laughs> Just subscribe. Subscribe to mine and uh, Revengeance's channel. He makes he makes videos once a week, and if do subscribe to his channel no, as well. Do subscribe to mine. And in the next video, we'll be talking about our website. See you then.